Hello. Morning. Beep, 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 beep. Welcome to the court of the judge. Oh, my bloody glasses are steamed up. How are you? <laughs> Let's wipe my glasses a sec and move my coffee cup. <laughs> I've gone for the morning blend. It's called a New York morning blend. Let's see. Oh, glorious. Yes, very nice indeed. New York. That reminds me of that song. You know that song? New York! Yeah, can't remember the rest. <laughs> yeah, I can. Uh, concrete jungle where dreams are made of. I can't remember who sang it. Somebody tell me in the comments, will you? If you listen to that carefully, it doesn't sound like concrete jungle where dreams are made of. It sounds like concrete jungle wet dream tomato. It's one of those songs where the things are wrong and they sound different, like that Macy Gray one. That was like that as well, wasn't it? What was it? Um, where she, what the hell, how did that go? When I walk away, uh, crumble, uh, that one. I wear goggles when you are not here. That's what it sounds like. Go check. Macy Gray. What the hell was that song called? Cry or something? I don't know. Who knows? What Macy Gray. So, that's enough of me wibbling. Come and join us as a warrior teacher. We've got two days. So come and sign up. We'll get you all sorted. We've got the WhatsApp groups already buzzing. People testing teams. We're all set to get started on Monday in the morning and in the evening. Two sessions. Come join us. Buy me a coffee. The usual stuff to keep me going. If you can, if you want to, if you want to keep this going, you can. It's your job. My thanks to everybody who supports me. I love my followers. They're so funny sometimes as well. Now, oh me, oh my, oh me, oh Ohio. Have you seen Ohio? I'm having to do these little right. Let's just round up because there's so much going on. Ohio, a me, oh my, Ohio, right? Ohio, a band. Banned these LARPing men and women from toilets that are the opposite of the sex they actually are. Go, Ohio, I say. <laughs> Go, Ohio, we need more of this. I understand it's only in colleges and schools and stuff, but that's a start, okay? It's definitely a start. Now, I've been watching this, um, what should we call it? The Reasonable Critical critical Social Justice, TRA, right? The Reasonable Critical... That's what's now being created, okay? So we're seeing that happen in real time, which is very interesting. So you've got... They go, well, I didn't want that. I didn't mean this. I didn't mean that. I meant another thing. Oh, and actually, no, I don't mean that. Well, I'm a reasonable one. I understand biology. I don't want your spaces. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Just no. <laughs> So what you're seeing is what I would call the attempt to create the unknown and impossible, by the way, the impossible uh, creation of a thing called the Reasonable Critical Social Justice Warrior or TRA, whichever way you want to look at it. I think it's both. So you can't. There are no reasonable ones. You can't be CSJ and reasonable. That's not how the game works. The whole point of CSJ is that you're unreasonable because everything is about power and depression. So we're seeing it happen in real time. We're watching it happen. Right. And I've seen a number of folk who shall remain named without nom de plume, nameless. <laughs> bloody glasses. They will remain nameless. This happens in the winter because I give off heat like a bloody radiator. <laughs> it can't happen and you mustn't let it happen. And I've, been, I've seen a number of people going, sounds reasonable to me. No. OK, this is the this is the overriding factor that I can't get me chops around, I'm afraid, is it doesn't matter whether they scientifically prove that they should be in the toilets. It doesn't matter whether they scientifically prove that cutting off people's genitals is good for them. It, I don't care. Right. I genuinely don't care. I only care about the science when it falls on our side because I'm like that. Because this is not just a question of science, it's a question of morality, and it's a question of categorization, a question of what type of society do we want. Our society is based upon the simple premise, the beginning premise, that we are either male or female, boys or girls, men or women. That is the basic categorization of our world. And no, you aren't changing that. You can scream and wibble and shout. That should be a song, shouldn't it? Scream and wibble and shout. You can scream and wibble and shout all you want. No, under no circumstances. You don't get to live your life as an imposter and a fraud. End of story. OK, because if you're lying about that, if you're lying about who you fundamentally are from day one, if you're lying about that, I won't trust a damn thing you say about anything else. There is no middle ground. And it, it always astounds me watching people trying to find it. 
like, well, that seems reasonable to me. It's not reasonable, right? The very fact that they they want to pretend there's something they're not is not reasonable. The very fact that they want to say there's such a thing as a trans child is not reasonable, okay? The very fact that they want you to call them she is not reasonable. Okay, so from my perspective, it just ain't reasonable. And even if science proved, which it will never do, even if science proved that there's such a thing as the trans brain, which it will never prove because it's nonsense. If, if it ever proved that, let's just say that it did prove it. I still wouldn't capitulate. Right. I still wouldn't follow the science. Because we categorise our society in a particular way and it's done so deliberately and also it's done so for the protection of women and children and for that matter some men. Right. I still wouldn't capitulate. The fact that people that, that we can scientifically say this person's a psychopath, this person's a schizophrenic, this person's X, Y, means that, that we, we have to be wary of that person and we deal with them accordingly if they've got the traits that go with being that that make them dangerous. You don't know, our entire society being run around psychopaths and schizophrenics, do you? Right. Even if the science proved it, I don't care. OK, men, women, male, female, boy, girl. That's as basic as our categorization gets. And if we allow these a reasonable CSJTRAs, the reason I'm the reasonable one, because I don't want I, I know biology is real. Oh, but oh, hang on. I still want access to your toilets. That's what's got us here. There is no reasonable. It ends root to branch. All of it. All, wear what you like. Dress how you want. Call yourself Myrtle. I don't care. But you do it with the intent to defraud, to hide, or to con, and you should be called out for it. You should be called out for it. Okay? And you certainly shouldn't be doing it in the workplace. You cannot expect other people to take part in your fetish. End of. All right? End of. So please, can we stop the middle ground rhetoric? Please, can we stop? Oh, well, that's re that sounds reasonable. He only wants our toilets on a Friday between nine and four. No, there is no compromise to be made with this, because if you compromise with this, you unanchor the very first categorization that we as a species understood. And you, un you unhitch that and the entire ship of humanity goes floating off into God knows what treacherous seas. So no matter what they bleat, no matter what they say, we hold on to that categorization because to not do so will unanchor us. Why do you think they went for it in the first place? Right? Because that's what it's all about with the CSJs, critical social justice nutters. Right? That's what it is. Now, I may be wrong about this. I'm, well, you know me. I'm more than happy to be proved wrong. Come and prove me wrong. So please do let me know in the comments whether you think I'm just a lunatic. Other than that, go do something. Watch Long Legs if you haven't watched it yet. It was horrible. Ooh, horrible. Uh, creepy. <laughs> Other than that, thank you very much for watching, you know. I, I do appreciate you. I do. Don't let anybody say otherwise. Bye-bye. <laughs>